Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft better than Adventure. Now, this is a mod for Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, and it only works on Java Edition, so for Bedrock players, it's not going to work. Phones and consoles are out of the question. You need to own a computer with Minecraft Java Edition, and yes, that means you're going to need to purchase Java Edition if you only own Bedrock. Alright, now I'm going to start a list here of things we need, and... What we're going to need next is Java version 8, and alongside that, a third-party launcher for Minecraft such as Prism Launcher. Now I've got everything you need in the description so you can just copy the links there, but we're going to be using this first link to download the Java 8 setup. Alright, and we're going to be running that. And there we go, the Java 8 setup will start here, and we can always change the destination folder we want it to go into. So if you didn't want it to be in your program files folder, then you can change that, but I'm okay with where it usually goes, so we're going to hit install. And it'll take a little bit, but Java 8's going to be installed onto our computer. Now this is important, because this is the version of Java that Better Than Adventure needs to run, and it's also the version that Beta Minecraft needs to run in. Okay, there we go. You have successfully installed Java. Now we can close that, and we can go to the Prism Launcher website. Now you're going to want to press the big red button that says Download, and as you can see here, we've got a few different OS systems we can choose, such as Mac and Linux, but because I'm on a Windows 10 computer, we're going to be going to the Windows section, and I'm going to get the installer EXE for Windows 10. Here we go. Now the Prism Launcher setup has installed, and we're going to click this. You can always uh, actually make it have a desktop shortcut, and you do not need the shell association. So then we're just going to hit next. We're going to make it go to the usual destination folder, but again, you can change that if you don't want it going there. And we're just going to hit install, and there we go. We are finished. Now we can run Prism Launcher. All right, here we go. Now we've got a ton of languages to choose between, but of course, by default, it's going to probably be chosen on American English. I'm going to do Canadian English because I am Canadian, although the differences are very small. Just choose American English. That's the simplest one to go by. All right, we're going to hit next, and once you get to this point, you are not probably going to see as many Java versions as I do here. I've downloaded a lot of Java versions in my time. But basically what you're going to want to do is find the Java version 8 that you just installed. Now this is going to be under 1.8.0. So be wary of that. And we're going to want to make sure that it doesn't say x86 because that means 32-bit. The link that I've given you will install a 64-bit one. So we're just going to choose this one. Um... Make sure it's AMD 64, 1.8.0, and the numbers after 1.8.0 don't really matter, just so long as you have any version. It's Java 8. Don't worry about any other details here, we can just hit next. There we go, now as you can see, they actually give you a few different cats to select for your menu. Actually, I'm just kidding, of course you can change the uh, brightness of the menus, you know, you can change icon colors, but there we go, alright. Now we have... Prism Launcher fully set up, you can go up here, Manage Accounts, and you can set up your Microsoft account here. Alright, I've added my account Snowman64, and as you can see in the top right corner, it's got my little guy there. Now, you can uh, actually add an instance of any version of Minecraft Java Edition. It's really cool, but that's not what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to close out of Prism Launcher because we need to install uh, a version of Better Than Adventure onto it. And to do that, we need to get a zip file of Better Than Adventure. Now, the cool thing about Better Than Adventure is they actually have their own website. If you go to betterthanadventure.net, here we go. It'll load up their very own website, and as you can see, it is awesome. They will have a tab over here to the right. It says latest release, 7.2 underscore 01. They're always updating, so they're always going to have a different latest release. And basically, we're going to ignore every little tab up here besides downloads. We're going to want to go to downloads, and here we go. As you can see, the latest stable release is right here. Now, they actually have an update utility. But I'll explain what that is later. What you're going to want to do is hit Multi-MC Instance. And then, there we go. It's installing a Better Than Adventure zip. You'll see a bunch of numbers. That's basically the Better Than Adventure version uh, number. 
Okay, so what the update instance is, is actually, uh, you can download an auto-updater for Prism Launcher, and basically what it does is it automatically updates an instance of Better Than Adventure, so you don't always have to keep getting the instance. So we're going to download this as well. There we go. As you can see, we're downloading the updater alongside just a single instance of a version, and I'll show you how both of them work. Alright, so after you're done downloading those uh, things, the easiest way to get them inside of Prism Launcher is to open your downloads and then drag the zips into there. Okay, so that's going to open up this window here, and you can just press OK. And of course, you can go back here, get the updater, and do the same thing. There we go, now we don't need our browser anymore. We can just focus on, uh, you know, Prism Launcher. So, here we go. We have Better Than Adventure 7.2 underscore 01 and the BTA Updater 2.0. Now we're going to put these into separate groups, and here we go, we'll call this one BTA Instances, and then this one can be in BTA Updater. Alright, there we go. So, when we run the BTA Instance, it's actually going to work because we have that Java 8 uh, thing set up that we did. Basically, because Minecraft Beta runs on Java 8, that was the specific version of Java we needed to run Better Than Adventure, because Better Than Adventure is a mod for Minecraft Beta, so we're going to want to wait for them to get all of the asset files from Mojang. There we go, alright, as you can see, it's opened up Better Than Adventure if you've done everything correctly. And check it out, that's pretty awesome. Now here's the thing, this is how the updater works. You're going to want to launch the updater the same way you did with this instance right here. And check it out. It's going to open up this window, but don't be frightened. It's nothing to worry about. Um, this is basically because the updater doesn't actually launch better than Adventure. It's going to create another instance where it's always going to be updated every time you run this updater. Okay, so we can close out of that. And as you can see, uh, it's made a third group, ungrouped, called Better Than Adventure Manage. Now we're going to want to put this into the BTA updater group, of course just so that it's, uh, you know, in groups. You don't even need to actually make any groups. I just do it because it's easier to manage stuff. But basically, if you don't want to always keep installing uh, zips of instances, you know, uh, if I show you here, we just downloaded a single instance of 7.2 underscore 01 from the multi-MC instance. But what the update utility does is basically, every time you run it, you can actually run the latest version of Better Than Adventure through this instance. And if the mod gets an update, instead of downloading a whole new zip, you can just run the updater again, and it'll grab a new update. You know what I mean? It's super useful like that. Better Than Adventure is the only mod that I've seen yet that actually does anything like this. So let's say they released 7.3 or 7.4, and the managed instance still runs 7.2 underscore 01. You can run the updater and they'll actually grab the latest version, which is super awesome. And that's about it. You can also press the cat button up here <laughs> and it'll give the little cat that you selected in the installation. And there you go. That's how you play better than adventure. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.